Hello everyone, <clears throat> it's Nancy Bastien and welcome back to my channel. Let's have some fun today and we are going to play with the new colors that just come out from the Distressed Oxide Sprays. And I'm going to tell you what the colors are. This one's Mowed Lawn. <clears throat> this one's Shaded Lilac. Spun Sugar. Abandoned Coral. Ooh, I love that color. Twisted Citron. I like that color too. Antique Linen. Broken China. <clears throat> Peacock Feathers. Puma Stone, Squeeze Lemonade, Victorian Velvet, and Dried Marigold. So let's, they're not shook up yet. I didn't shake them all up because they settle <clears throat> before you use them. It settles back down in the bottom. So anyhow, um, yeah, I just got these in the mail the other day, and I thought how fun it would be is to make some papers with these, these new ones, and have some fun with them. So, I've got some color, <clears throat> watercolor paper. It is Canson 140 pound watercolor. And it's a great big, it's a 12 by, let me see. I can't read it. It's a 12 by 18 sheet. So it's pretty big. It's a pretty big pad. I bought it in the mine to make something that um, Eileen McInnes made a long time ago and I never did get around to making it and then I got scared and didn't make it and I was gonna hang it. Pretty pretty thing that she made where she cut out different um, different shapes into the paper and it was like spread out. You have to go watch her video. It was years ago. And I bought that and I bought the canvas to put it on and I never did make it. So I got all this watercolor paper. I think it like took seven sheets of watercolor paper and you cut them all different sizes so that they would like spread. Anyway. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yes, I do. So, I'm going to wet this paper. And then we're going to get spraying some of these colors. Because I think these are the spring colors. And they are beautiful. Just beautiful. Oh, you guys. I had such a hard time figuring out how to upload my video to YouTube. I've always gone to my home page, my YouTube home page, and clicked on the upload and moved my video over into the arrow thing, right? No, it wouldn't move over. It wouldn't, and I kept thinking, why is it not moving over? And I did not know that you had to click on that big box arrow on the upload before you could put your video in there. And, oh, I was just, it was two days before I figured that out. Two days. Oh, and another thing I want to do is spray some of these. These are um, cupcake holders, but they're... Um, they came out of the can with the cookies in them. Did you get at Christmas time? Well, I guess you can get them anytime. The, the um, I don't know what they're called. I have a bunch of the cans. But anyway, I want to use those too. 
Okay, let's get started on these. I'm going to spray the paper and hope my water doesn't stink. It does. Our water here goes sour. It gets a sour smell. I don't know why. Ooh. Ah, ooh. Look how pretty. Pretty, pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. That one is peacock feathers. It's really pretty. I'm getting excited about going on my trip. I'm thinking, am I really going to do this by myself and two dogs? Am I really? I'm going to get this on the back. I don't want to waste all that that's on here. And it didn't get on the back very good. Oh well. Let's see if we put it on the front. It's just making a mess. Alright, let's uh, wipe this up. I need to get a baby wipe because I want to have a pretty colored baby wipe. Don't waste it because I use the baby wipes. And they can make pretty, pretty colors. Okay, let's dry it up. I got a dog hair. A little black dog hair. Gee, I wonder where that came from. That's dry enough. Let's do another one. Let's set this aside to dry. And let's try another color. Let's do Broken China. And spray some water. And try not to spray so much water. This is pretty just as well. It is very beautiful. And I want to leave it just like that. I do, I do. I don't know why I cut these six by six. Uh, should I cut them postcard size or... I don't know. I wanted to show you the colors. It's what I wanted to do. Let's mix. Should we mix? Let's mix some Puma Stone on here. See what that does. Just makes it brown. But you can kind of see what color that is. All right. I'm going to set it aside to dry. Perhaps. Let's do another one. Let's uh, wet our paper. And let's try out this Twisted Citron. Oh, pretty, pretty. These will go pretty with the, um, uh, the darker colors to mix together. I just thought of that. And look how pretty that is. I'm going to just mop up some of these big spots. And I'm going to set that one aside to dry. And... 
This one is Abandoned Coral. This is my favorite color. I love this color. I'm going to need another baby wipe. <clears throat> I wonder how these would look sprayed on some... I need to spray some backs of the napkins. And I'm going to do that one of these days. Did I spray this? Probably not. Oh, I love that. I love that color. Do you guys love that color? I could cut these up and make swatches. Eh, that's okay. I don't need to make swatches. I know what color they are. Now I turned the volume down in my um, on my speakers. So let me know if you're having a hard time hearing me. And if you are, I will correct that before the next video. I thought it was pretty loud the last time. Okay, I'm going to set this aside to dry. I don't have any more sides. Set-asides, you know what I mean? The set-asides. <laughs> okay, this is Antique Linen. It's just like the antique linen. It's a gorgeous color to use to uh, distress. But if I were going to mix it with a different color, it would be beautiful to mix it with a different color. I don't know what color, but, you know, something to distress it, like maybe Twisted Citron. See how pretty that is? It mixes really well. You get a really pretty, pretty paper. And I'm getting some beautiful baby wipes here. And dry that a little bit. I'm trying not to spray too much water on my... Oh, and I need to clean the lids to the... Because if you don't do that, they will stick on there and it will not spray. how pretty that is with the antique linen on it. I don't know if these would be too hard to fold to make like a, because the paper's pretty thick, but these would be pretty to, um, to continue on and glue in a um, journal, glue a page in a journal or something like that, or cut them up and um, use them for whatever, collage or whatever you want to do. I'm going to take time to clean my nozzles because I don't want that to sit in there and dry up. 
and then I'll be sad when they won't spray the next time. All right, guys, I want to tell you something. Now, I know that I made these sprays, I don't know how many years ago. It could have been when I was still living with my mother-in-law and I was just barely starting out in the mixed media artist and I was making my own stuff but I made these sprays and I'm gonna show them to you they're homemade sprays and they are made I don't know what they're made out of because they don't smell like they don't smell like um, um, alcohol. They don't look like they have any mold on them from any, you know, from water. I don't know if I use distilled water on them. But I want to show you. Let me find a piece of paper. show you how they spray I mean they're still good see and I don't know what I made them out of with I don't know what I made them with if it was just it must have been distilled water because they're still good and, um, yeah. And I need to go pick up that paper that fell on the floor because it was one of these and it fell on its front part and it wasn't dry. Hang on. Well, it was kind of dry, so I'm not worried about the floor. And let's continue on with the Distress Paints. We got a few more to go. I ordered the, the whole... Um, set of 12. And... Um, I think I got them from scrapbook.com. I'm not sure, but they were cheap. They were on they were like really on sale for a good price. Or I wouldn't have ordered them cuz I can't afford that and go on my trip too. So, yeah. I'm going on a trip and I'm getting kind of anxious. Now this is Victorian velvet. This is another color that I really like really like this one too I like them all I just think they're just beautiful just beautiful just beautiful ooh see that that is just beautiful I love it I love that one Just gorgeous. Beautiful. And I'm going to come back with some white and spray some white on there. I have some white, um, I don't know if it's distressed, if it's the stain or what it is, but it's white. And I think white sprays in that. I did one with... Uh, with the blue and made it like a that gorgeous made it like a um, I'll think of it a galaxy I think this would be really pretty if you put some blue in it let's see what blue we got this is not blue that's I got peacock feathers or Broken China. Let's try a little bit of Broken China. I think I need faded jeans. Let's put 
put in there to make it look like a yeah to make it look like a galaxy but that's pretty also how that worked and it's running down and making dendritic that's another thing I haven't done I need to try and do that dendritic Ooh, look it's really doing the dendritic look at that isn't that cool that's really cool I'm loving that I hope it doesn't go away when it dries all right let's set this somewhere I'm not gonna remember where I set them all when it's time to um, this was Victorian it was Victorian I need to clean my nibs off them tips off all right we've got another one we've got mowed lawn and I think that one's pretty too that's really pretty I'm not really a favorite of greens other than like a uh, yellow green like um, yeah like the yellow green I guess I'm not a fan of green because my hus my ex-husband was a green fan and everything he owned and wore was green and it uh, just got old got really old all his green stuff I mean it's pretty in its place but anyhow that's really kind of cool looking how it turned out I like that all right let's set this somewhere and look at this what I sprayed on here on top of this whatever it was but it turned it green but there's sparkles in it pretty so I need to get those those sprays out and use them use them up okay now we have dried marigold and I thought this was like um, more like a yellow or an orange but this is like it doesn't look orange to me we will see what it looks like Well, it's orange when it hits the paper. But it sure doesn't look orange in here. It looks more like a pinky color. Don't you think that looks like a pink color? Now, I know my, my camera is not blowing that out a different color because that's the color it looks like in the bottle. But this is what it comes out as. It comes out orange, like a marigold. Hmm. That's pretty. That's pretty. And set it there to dry. We have two more. We have squeezed 
lemonade now that looks green to me and i thought lemonade was yellow so we'll see what color this comes out when it hits the paper looks green you know it looks kind of yellow but not like I would think squeeze lemonade would look that looks yellow green to me am I colorblind what does it look like to you yellow or green or yellow green I'm getting some really pretty, pretty, pretty wet wipes. Baby butt wipes. And I'm making a mess. But sprays always make a mess. That's pretty. That's really pretty. Okay, we're going to set this somewhere to dry. And then I'll dry them and then I'll come back and we'll, we'll show them again. Let me see if I cleaned that off. Yes, I did. Now we have our last one, which is Shaded Lilac. I love lilac color. Oops. So these are the new color line that came out. I don't know. I think they just barely came out. Purdy, purdy. I'm liking that. But I like lilac anyway. I'm really liking that. Isn't that purdy? So, there is the Distressed Inks for this spring line. And I'm going to go away and dry all of these and come back and show you what they look like. Okay? I'll see you in just a flash.